Good evening. Wow. We are down to the final day of this campaign, and what a campaign it's been. I know I speak for, the fellow, for my fellow candidates when I say that this has truly been a great experience. I am humbled by the support and well wishes from so many of you out there, from those that have, that have known me for years to others who I just met on the campaign trail. I have made friends for life. Tomorrow, you, my fellow residents, will speak. I am confident our side will prevail. However, whether we win or lose, our town has benefited from this contest. Change will be most effective if we win. But even if we do not get the desired outcome, this movement will not be silenced or dispersed. I will continue to work hard bringing the issues to light and helping others run for office. Looking back, I am so proud of our campaign. Sure, we've made mistakes, but we've learned from them as well. This movement started from a single post on social media asking for signatures, and without any prior political experience, look at what we built together. When I originally launched this campaign, I simply wanted to start a conversation and get fellow residents to pay attention to the issues. And that's exactly what we did. We focused on the issues and refrained from personal, negative personal attacks, unlike the other side. We built this small online movement into a full-fledged campaign. We have awakened our town and its residents. People are now paying attention and speaking out, and I want our leaders to finally hear their voices. Because of this attention, our town has come to life. It's a buzz with activity, such as finally removing the snow this winter, street repairs and paving, trimming or replacing of trees everywhere, sewer draining and cleaning, and finally addressing long-standing flooding issues in certain neighborhoods. The residents know what's going on here. Obviously, it's an election year. Maybe our campaign doesn't have the money, the power, or the organization like the other side. But in the bo uh, voting booth, none of that matters. The voting booth is one of the last few places where we are all still equal. No matter your race, religion, career, or your bank account value, we all have one vote. And if we all come together and vote in droves, we can send a powerful message that our leaders can no longer ignore. Their advantages will mean nothing if we commit to stay united despite our differences. We must mobilize our friends, families, and neighbors to all vote as well. I humbly ask all of you to spread the word. Tell your friends, family, and neighbors, and ask them to spread the word as well. We have to do this tomorrow. 22 years is just way too long, and it's time for change. So tomorrow, let's all go to the polls to vote for Kristen Jean McBrin, Alexis Campos, Kristen Grimaldi, Stephanie Galarza, and me, of course. I say, yes, we can, and yes, we will, together. United, we have the power to bring about the change Carney deserves. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening, and it's been a blast. And I'll never forget some of the people that I've met on the campaign trail. Thank you all so much. Have a good evening.